for warm-up we'll start with tire modeling so go to manage layers and create new layer name it wheels and with that layer selected we can start I will use this image as a reference and also this one for this part here so uh, with alt w zoom in and go to create panel and create one box something like that okay let's change color to blue and convert that to editable poly press Z to zoom in and delete this polygon and this one move that down okay now with edge mode select select these three edges and shift and drag and push them down okay now select these three edges and also shift and drag okay and select these three edges and shift and drag okay now go to vertex mode and zoom in with control W select these words and push them up and select this one and push them down now select these edges and go to connect and two segments hit OK now select these words and push them down also these that will be OK now on other side select these three edges and shift and drag okay select these two polygons and hit extrude extrude them out one hit ok and delete this bottom polygon okay now go to edge mode let's zoom in Okay, shift and drag. Now select these two, actually these four words, and hit weld. And after that, select these four and make them planar on X. Now we can select all these words, push them down a bit, and select these and push them also and we can push down these four okay push that up just a bit okay now turn on edge constraints and select this edge and this one and push them here okay now select these three edges shift and drag but turn off edge constraints okay and push that out okay now select these three edges and shift and drag something like that now we need a few support edges to hold our geometry when we apply turbo smooth so go to edge mode select this edge hit ring connect with two segments and pinch 65 
hit OK, select this edge, hit ring, connect, and two segments with pinch 55. OK. You can also go to graphite modeling tools and select swift loop. And now we can make a few more support edges. So, so okay, one here, one here. Well, we need also one here. And one here. We need one support edge here and one here. And that's all I guess and select this edge hit loop and once again shift and drag okay now we can zoom in and shift and drag and make 49 copies hit ok actually undo that once again ok now make 49 copies hit ok and select this object go to attach click on this little box here and select this one and hit attach. Now go to hierarchy panel, affect pivot point only, center to object, and let's move that to center. Right click on move and right click on arrows. Let's zoom in. Now apply bend modifier angle 360 direction negative 90 and bend axis y okay and let's zoom in down okay and now adjust angle value okay maybe 0.3 0.2 Point two five. Okay, now collapse all and go to vertex mode and hit Control A to select all words and hit weld. Now once again go to hierarchy panel and center to object and move that to center. Now take a look on our reference image. So select that border and shift and scale and push that border in just a bit. And now shift and scale push that out just a bit and shift and scale and shift and scale once again okay and push that in a bit and shift and drag okay now select this edge hit loop and chamfer chamfer amount two will be fine i guess and select this edge hit ring and connect with two segments and pinch 35 hit ok now select these edges hit loop and chamfer but something small 
0.15 I guess okay and let's see what we have applied turbo smooth it's two iterations actually one is enough okay we have one side of our tire let's remove this turbo smooth for a second let's apply symmetry modifier okay select mirror and push that out okay collapse all and now apply turbo smooth and our tire is here of course you can also spend more time and add more details but for purpose of this tutorial this will be okay okay now we have our tire and in next part we will try to model our rims